The Sims 4 base game was like really lacking when it first came out and one of the major things that it was missing were pools. And a couple other notable things like um, toddlers and ghosts and stuff. They ended up adding pools in an update pretty soon after the game released but there's a couple of lots in the base game worlds that I always felt like were meant to have a pool. Specifically this lot, this Vista Quarry lot in Oasis Springs and also the Land Grabs house. But I want to show you this one. It is very possible that I'm reading into this a little bit but I always felt like this back of the lot was kind of weird. I actually like the shape of the terrain paint a lot, but like this area with the patio was always so weird to me. And every time I look at it, all I can think is like, oh my god, it would be perfect to have a pool like built in there somehow. And obviously there just isn't one because when the game came out, there wasn't pools. And so with that thought in mind, I almost want to try and renovate this house and like make the version of it that couldn't have been when the game first came out. Probably rearrange a little bit inside because it's kind of dark in there and there's some weird things like this giant wall right when you walk in the front door. I actually kind of like the exterior. I like the idea of this sort of mid-century house. I just feel like it probably could use an update. So the goal today is to try and renovate this base game build and hopefully make it a little bit cuter and maybe a little bit more playable. Right now it's actually kind of cheap. It's only like 40,000 simoleons. So I'd like to keep it somewhere in that range, like 50,000-ish. That way it's also like kind of playable without cheats, but it's obviously not a starter home. So with that, let's just get started. I'm feeling like the outside probably needs the most help, and I think I'm gonna start by making it a little bit smaller. There's something about like the length of this roof that's kind of throwing me off, and I think I also don't like the covered porch. I don't know, I need to do something to make this look more interesting, and I hate to say it, but just in general, I think making things smaller usually helps a little bit, although this is probably not the best situation because now there's like floating cabinets and Stuff, but it didn't need to be that big. It was too big. Maybe I'll just get rid of all the terrain paint too and we'll come back to that. I may have come into this a little bit overconfident because I don't really know how to solve this problem out here. It's kind of weird out here. Maybe if I use this thing sized up, that still has like some interest on the front, but it's not as bulky as before. I'm gonna try and line up the roof a little bit better too. I wonder if I could like lower it down. Maybe that looks nicer. Okay, I'm gonna try and like make the roof line a little bit more interesting. Oh my god. This game can be so annoying sometimes. Why doesn't it keep the height that I set it to? Like, if I- if I copied it, shouldn't it copy the exact height? Like, why- why is it not keeping the alt placing that I did? I guess I could alt place this side instead. That looks okay. Or at least it looks better than I thought it would. Is this blue? I can't escape the blue suburban. I didn't paint this, just for the record. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I thought it was kind of green in this lighting, but it turns out it is also blue. Everything I build in this game is blue. Here's what I've got so far on the front, and I think that I'm liking it. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but I feel like this has more potential than what it had before. And then we can try and do something a little bit more interesting with the pathway. I actually kind of like the idea of wrapping it around the front like this. The back is just a disaster. Like something has to be done about this. Even if I just extended it out the tiniest little bit, I feel like that would probably help just to give it a little bit more shape or something because right now it looks so plain. And then maybe we could try and make like some sort of custom pergola up here just to have some like coverage and some more shape. I can put some columns on it to support it as well. That just makes this look a little bit less full flat from the back. It's also not like that expensive. Obviously this costs more than just putting a roof down because the roofs in The Sims 4 are free, but this looks cool. So I think that makes it worth it. They were using these columns before, right? I could probably do that. Maybe I'll try and line it up with the edge like that. This could be kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the pool, but I might make it a little bit smaller here too, because the pool being that big is really expensive. So if it was a little bit smaller, that might be a good thing. Maybe I could try and shrink this whole space. It can have the same shape as it did originally, but just be like a little bit tinier. All this constant shrinking of the walls has made like half the furniture be sticking out from the room so hang on let me fix it do i love this no but i'm gonna try and do the floor plan now because i think once we have that figured out it'll be a lot easier to like adjust the windows from the outside and stuff immediately i am deleting almost every single light they have in here because i don't want to use any of these i'd way prefer to get like fancier overhead ceiling lights 
that have these like super dark lamps and stuff because it's so dark in the house without any ceiling lights. This is a problem that all of the base game builds have. Like all of the older builds they used to do are just so dark inside. And I'm so accustomed to using these like really nice bright little lights that I just cannot deal with the darkness in these old rooms. When you actually like sit down and look at some of these things too, it's so weird. Like why do all of the rooms have double doors into them? Obviously that's kind of nice, but like it, it does seem a little excessive. Same thing, like this wall being here is such a waste. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that I want to keep a lot of this layout very similar We could probably have the bathroom here still the bedroom over here Maybe just a little bit smaller and I expanded this so we have a lot more space Like the kitchen can take up more of this corner now if we want it to so despite the house being smaller We actually have more room in here. I almost think I want to keep a lot of the like original flooring and color scheme and stuff. I realize that's hard to say because like this room is um orange. <laughs> but I like the idea of it. I'm just not really sure about um I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Let me just think about this for a second, okay? I'm gonna try and like rearrange everything. I did really like how they had the TV above these nice cabinets. We could definitely keep this, but just sort of rotate it around and like rearrange a little bit. We also have some new swatches of that which are maybe a little bit nicer and we can keep like this same painting and use that as like an inspiration I might actually switch up the flooring because I don't really like the color of the wood Maybe if we did like a brighter color, I'd like it better. I feel like this TV is so small I probably shouldn't buy like a more expensive one But I just want like something a little bit bigger that takes up more space on the wall I'm not used to this size of cabinet because I normally do the smaller ones when I use them as like a console table But I kind of want to keep what they had so it's just it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of weird looking to me. Maybe I could do like sconces on either side. I bet they would do something like that. I can see that happening in like an EA build. I don't mean that in like a negative way. <laughs> I don't mean that to be rude. I'm just saying like I can see them doing sconces. They use wall lights more often than I do. Okay, I'm kind of liking this space. I wonder if I could change these lights. Oh yeah, they're way too yellow. All right, I like it better when they're a little bit whiter. To me, that looks like way nicer on the wall. Maybe I can make it a little bit dimmer as well. I feel like that's just less offensive to look at. Okay, that's an improvement. I'm gonna want to redo like this whole kitchen. I'm probably wasting money by selling all of it like this, but I want to just fix this space. I'm not really loving how it looks. I'll probably replace the table too because I don't really like that either. In the kitchen, I kind of want to do like a prettier, brighter color, but I don't know if I want to use like the exact same color as the couch. Ooh, that's an interesting swatch. I don't know if I want to use that or not, but it does look kind of cool. I don't really love like this cabinet swatch and I don't really want it to be white either because that's kind of boring to me This one has like a nice orange to it. I wonder if I can make that work somehow We can't take up all of the space like I need to make sure that I'm not putting cabinets everywhere because we can't really afford to, but I could put cabinetry along most of that wall and then maybe I could like, I don't know, build this out a little bit or something just to make it look a little bit more interesting, but also like give us an excuse to not have to buy an extra cabinet. Is that the right color? Why does it look so like brown? Oh, there you go. That's the right color. That almost looks more brown. <laughs> But it's like a nice light orange. I think this is technically the right swatch that matches, but I don't really want it to have like orange on the side and top and then white on the front because that feels boring to me. We are so lucky. They really have added so many nice things since the game first came out. Like the base game has really improved so much. This tile, this swatch of cabinet, that is all new. Like we did not have that when this build was first made. I used a lot of really expensive chairs, but I also really like how they look. So I want to try and keep them. I'm not sure how much more I should add into this living room because budget wise we're starting to get a little bit close to the end. I'm gonna work on the bathroom next because this room is very sad and definitely needs some help. I want to keep this tub but I'll probably use this same tile that we used in the kitchen. This bathroom originally had like some really nice cabinets and a sink and stuff but I'm trying to limit the budget spending a little bit <laughs> so I might do a smaller sink with cabinets and not any upper cabinets or anything but I still think this looks cool. And then we can just do the toilet over here. I feel like this is a reasonable bathroom layout. I could maybe even get like an extra table or something for some more storage. Put some 
some towels on there. I don't know, maybe like an extra plant or something. <laughs> I like that. I think that's kind of nice. I'll probably come back and see if we can afford to add anything else in here. I guess like these little toothbrushes are really cheap, so maybe I could put those. Soap's not too expensive either. So that could be kind of a cute little touch. What is that? Why well, see, this house was weird. Why did they have two different colored mirrors on the wall right there? <laughs> Like, why did they do that? You know what, now that I think about it, this room was originally an office. I wonder if we could switch this around a little, like reorganize this living room area and make this have the desk in it instead. I could also put the chess table like outside or something. We all know I always do that. But then this could become a bedroom instead of an office. And I think I would like that better. It just feels like a more practical use of the space. And then I can sell some of those really expensive cabinets and stuff. Like those bookshelves were, like 1200 each or something, right? 1395, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's probably better to not have that. Okay, as far as this bedroom goes, I think I would like to keep it orange and green themed, but I don't know about this particular shade of orange cause it, um, it's kind of horrible if I'm being honest. I, I don't like it. <laughs> It's very dark in there. Same thing with this room. Like it's fun to have a, a nice blue accent wall or something, but it's a very deep blue. And when it's the whole room, it um it's just it's kind of scary. I feel like we could probably do bit I feel like we could probably do a bit better than that. Like we could probably make this look a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna try. There's actually a really cool like textured wallpaper, but I don't know if that's too much with the bubbles on the bed. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't. I'm wanting to give this sim like a few extra toys. So maybe I could get like a toy box next to this stuffed animal or maybe instead I could do a little dollhouse or something. I don't really like the colors of the dollhouses though. I don't know though, even this room, it's obviously not like a ton of furniture, but it still is cute. And there's like actually room on the floor for the Sims to play with the toys. And then we could maybe try and include a couple other skill building type of items. Like we obviously have this one, but maybe I could get like a little toy violin or something. This is the primary bedroom and the vibes are not good. <laughs> I don't really understand how this color scheme goes together, but I'm gonna try and make it work. I'm actually gonna try to embrace this color on the walls. I think I sort of like the idea of trying to have like the red and blue accents or something. I don't know, it's a cool painting and I've never used it as like the inspiration for a, a room before. What am I gonna do, put a red rug? <laughs> oh my God, that is so ugly. Um, Maybe I could do like beige rug, teal rug? Teal rug and red wall? No. Can I go maybe a little bit more peachy with the color scheme? Like we try to make it orange? How about something like that? That's not terrible. I don't know about the gray. Like the gray bed frame. I don't know. It it works. It's possible. It's actually kind of cool. I like this better than I thought I would. I'm pretty sure that before they just had like a dresser with those weird random colored mirrors on top. So I feel like no matter what we do, it's probably going to be good. I'm wondering if I could switch around the wall the bed is on because it might be kind of nice if it faces the window. We can do like a little blue thing right here and get a plant. I'm trying to think of ways to not over furnish the bedroom. You aren't really supposed to have a mirror like facing the bed, are you? I probably shouldn't do that. I know this because whenever I do it, people get upset in my comments, so I won't. But we could use like a little chair. Maybe I could make this like a cool orangey color. Oh no. <sighs> the swatches are very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't hate this. I think it's kind of okay. There's a lot of like red, white, and blue going on in here, which to be clear was not my intention. I just, I'm trying to use these beds that I never use <laughs> and it's just happening that way. Maybe I could get an extra computer. That's all right. I think I kind of like that. Is it weird to use the same rug again in a different swatch? We don't have a lot of options. If this is going to be like an only base game build, I mean, there's not exactly a ton to work with, so I might have to do it like this. You know what? This isn't too bad. I think the layout of the house works worked out really well. Now we just gotta figure out how to fix the exterior because <laughs> this is still a mess. I kind of put that off a little bit too long. For example, these benches, I don't want them. This picnic table, I don't want it. I'm gonna pick, I think, a different foundation trim for everything about this. I feel like I like how that looks a little bit better. I can't imagine that I'll really change up the kind of plants that much. Like I'll probably reuse a lot of those, but I'm definitely gonna change up where they're placed. I think I also wanna get a bunch more palm trees or just like trees in general because this could definitely use a little bit of extra stuff going on. It just needs more to look at outside. So I think palm trees are a good idea. They had originally done that kind of cool thing with 
the terrain paint. I wonder if we could try to mimic that at all. I don't really know what it would look like because this is kind of random, but I don't know. We can try a few different things. It was definitely a cooler shape because of the lack of pool. I think maybe this house was never meant to have a pool and it was just a cool terrain paint shape. Um, I think that I misinterpreted their intentions. Well, I want to make sure that there's some sort of additional terrain paint or like something else going on down here because your sims can't get into the pool when it's like up against a foundation like this. They're gonna have to get into the pool from down here. So no matter what, we need to have like, you know, the pool lounge chairs or whatever down on this part of the ground. But maybe it would be kind of cool to like have some layers or something. I don't know, this isn't terrible looking, but it's not really as good as what they had before, which is making me regret this whole video. The whole concept was a flop. Every thought that I had was like apparently wrong and I should have just left it how it was before, I guess, but it's too late now. I've ruined everything and we have to fix it. I'm trying to like make the landscaping look interesting by like sizing one bush up and not sizing the other up and like raising one of them up a little bit higher than the other one and you know, trying to make it look like it's actually multi-layered, but I don't know if that's even good. <laughs> I don't know if what I did is even like nice looking or not. So I guess this is what I get for trying to like sort of mimic what they had. I should have known that using that as a starting point was going to end badly because there's not enough like variation. Maybe if I got anything extra that was orange. Actually, those might be kind of good. Maybe I'll switch that out. No, I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. What about these? We try to use a little bit of this to add some interest. I think there's potential there. This is an interesting shape. I think I might be onto something with this a little bit because this is very similar to what they had, but it like still looks nice and, and is different. Okay, well, I'm gonna let this sit <laughs> and just sink in for a second. And I'm gonna start putting some other furniture down, like the other stuff that I wanted to include because I wanted to have a couple lounge chairs. I'd normally add like an umbrella or something, but there isn't one in the base game, so I can't. We could do like an umbrella table of some sort up here, but I don't really like how it looks. <laughs> like the different swatches are not that good. This striped one does not feel like the vibes at all, but maybe, maybe it does. This striped one definitely matches the inside at least. So we could probably use that. Can keep the trash can kind of close so it's easily accessible. Underneath this little roof area is not a bad spot for the chess table that I wanted to include. And they already had a chess table. So I'm allowed this one. I know that I always put chess tables on patios, but like this one is allowed, okay? This one is justified because they did it first. I've got an excuse this time. This one time I have an excuse to my like constant chess table adding. We really don't have a lot of pool trim options. Should I do it in gray? Or should I leave it white? I actually kind of liked how the gray looked. I feel like this is kind of nice. I want to definitely get a pool light just because in real life, you would definitely have a pool light. Outside, I put a couple little useful things like some planters and stuff. And now I got to figure out the front. Although I could maybe move this. This is like the fire alarm thing. Oh, I need a fire alarm inside, don't you? Yeah, that should manage the sprinkler system, but let me just make sure there's a smoke alarm too, just in case. I never use this thing. I usually prefer for my sims to just suffer through fires, but they already had it, so I won't delete it. I'm gonna redo a lot of the front because I'm not really liking how this all looks. I think that's the theme of today. <laughs> I didn't like how the original build looked, so I tried to like put a band-aid on it and it somehow is still not that good, but we're trying. We're trying. I added like this extra little window in this bedroom just to like fill in the empty space. So I almost want to put something under it in the front, but I'm not sure what looks okay or not. Honestly, like some extra planters and stuff will probably go a long way. Maybe I can put one of those original flowers they had in them kind of as like an ode to it, but any sort of flower is sort of a nice touch. It adds some like color to the front. This house is very blue and orange. So I might get a little orange doormat as well. I'm really liking this. I'm adding a little bit of extra flower stuff around the place. I'm not sure how much is too much though. So <laughs> I'm trying to be careful to not overdo it. It is still the desert, right? So I don't want to just put like bushes everywhere, but it's kind of nice to have a little bit of greenery in the front. Maybe I'll keep it like this and maybe I'll call it there. Maybe the house can be done. It's definitely an improvement on the original. I feel like this is a lot brighter. It's got some more useful items. There's a pool. And I tried to use a lot of things that didn't exist when the game first came out, like some additional swatches that we didn't have and stuff. And obviously it's still base game and it's only 46,000 simoleons. That's not so bad. You could like actually play in this house if you wanted to without cheats, which cannot be said of a lot of the things that I build here. I make a lot of very expensive houses. 
that are unreasonably priced. So this one is decent. We also made it have an extra bedroom. It only had two, now it's got three. Although it had like space for one, it just was an office instead. So I kind of like redid it a little bit, but there, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sticking it on the gallery and realizing now that maybe I should have saved, but I, I think it's okay. <laughs> Every time I do that, I always like regret it because I forget to save before I upload it and then I get nervous the game is going to crash. I just, I don't trust the gallery and I'm justified in that. But on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like Sims builds, I do a lot of stuff like this here on my channel. This one was base game and like just a renovation. But if you're maybe curious to see something that is like the complete opposite, I just built a new house for my legacy challenge. So it is not base game. It uses like every pack. It's also very expensive and very cluttered, but if you're curious, I'll link that video down below for you. I hope you're having a great weekend and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. Every time I try and do a base game build, I'm just reminded of how lacking we are in like good swatches with the base game items. Maybe it's because I do it so much, but like I have used every single one of these things so many times. We need more.